So, the Super Miners are the newest super troop here in Clash of Clans, thanks to the December update. But the question remains, are they even worth using here at Town Hall 13 in Clash of Clans? Well, we have three attack strategies that we're going to try in multiplayer against max bases to see if we can three-star with them. So our first attack is the Super Hybrid. This is a really solid attack, and for starters, I want to specifically go in for the Town Hall with the Queen Charge. And I think that this gave me good value because I could remove the enemy RC, the Inferno, the Town Hall, and jump into the core to possibly deal with the Clan Castle. But we use the Siege Birkin King on the other side to create another part of the funnel, and then send in our four Super Miners with our eight Hog Riders through the rest of the base with the Warden and the Royal Champion. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a Baby Dragon over here, and we just wanna try and break open into here, which is good. Let's use a Queen, let's use two Balloons, our healers right here. Uh, hopefully she goes in the right direction. Uh, we might have to course correct her here. Yeah, we're gonna have to course correct her because she's not gonna... She's deciding not to go out, now she decides to go in. Let's use another super wall breaker and that should get us into the core. This is looking good. We have a jump spell as well to get into the core. I'm gonna use another rage. We don't need to use a freeze at all. So it's everything's looking quite good. I'm gonna use one right there with a jump, jump and a freeze there. Now is I think we're gonna go ahead and use the siege break with the king on the other side. Queen's gonna get a little bit deeper in the base. This is gonna be good for us. Let's use a freeze here for the scatter. And once we have a good or at least a decent funnel set, let's drop in our Super Miners, Warden, use our RC with the Hog Riders moving in as well. Queen's gonna unfortunately fall, but we do get the healers, so that's good. Things are moving in quite well. We got the Hog Riders from the Clan Castle now, kind of moving themselves. Let's use a couple Headhunters to help deal with the enemy Queen. And as they work into the core, let's go ahead and use our Grand Warden ability. I don't know about this, but we'll see. I feel like having three heal spells is definitely a lot better with them. Let's use another heal right here. Let's see if this is going to be enough to power through. We got some of the Hog Riders moving in with that Royal Champion. Uses her she Seeking Shield. It's not looking too bad here, actually. We still got the Super Miners and the Hog Riders kind of working themselves together. And let's see, we do have some cleanup, so I'm going to go ahead and use more of that kind of around. We do even got some of the Wizards here as well. It's not looking too bad, but I do think on the right base, Super Miners with Hog Riders aren't necessarily as bad. Next, we actually have the Blizzard Super Miners. Now, while this base is more of a box base and it's not necessarily the best looking design, luckily we have wall breakers within our Blizzard. That way, we're able to remove the core, use a Sui Hero to remove a couple other boxes, and then send in the hybrid in any direction, whether we want to go further away from the eagle or towards it. Air defenses are in a pretty good spot, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a couple balloons, Hound, Blimp. So my goal is to get a bit close to the Town Hall, but this should allow me to then use an invisibility, drop the Rage, another invisibility, and then just time these every four seconds. There's another one right there. Let's see, do they go for the Scatter? They do. Uh, maybe get the expo. No, nope, that's fine. Got some really good value there. Move my heroes towards this bottom part, but this should be able to create a really solid funnel for us when we send everything in. My heroes are fairly low level, especially my king. So we're just going to kind of let him do his own thing. Let's use a super wall breaker here that should connect them into the base. I got a P.E.K.K.A. and a couple wizards for the other side of the funnel. So I'm going to drop, I'm going to use my king ability here. Hopefully he goes in. He does, might not get rid of much. We're gonna drop in the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizards over on the other side. Baby Dragon's doing a lot of really good work for us. Queen's doing some good work. Let's use another Super Wall Breaker on the outside here. Maybe get a little bit deeper with that Queen, maybe. And then let's use our Super Miners. Let's drop in the Warden. Pop the Queen ability, Royal Champion. Things are gonna look good, let's see. That Eagle does need to go down. We might be getting to it late, so we'll see. This is not looking too, too bad. This blizzard into a super minor attack doesn't seem to be doing too, too bad. Let's use our warden ability here and let's use another heal right there between the scatter. And this is looking really good. Let's use our royal champion ability here. 
She's going to go down to the single target Inferno, but that's good. That is completely fine. We still have a lot of time remaining. Uh, let's use the heal here for those super miners, and then let's just go ahead and start doing some cleanup around here. Let's use some more of these, but this is looking really good. We do have about 30 seconds remaining, but it looks like I think we're going to get this done. They are able to do a ton of damage. Yeah, we won't have any issues with uh, time. And that right there is just going to show that they are definitely very strong with the use of the Blizzard. Even though I know there wasn't a clan castle and it wasn't a war base, this still really goes to show that they are quite powerful still. Last but not least, the Queen Charge Super Miner is probably my favorite of all three of these. The Queen Charge is specifically designed to remove a given area and create some really nice funneling. Outside of that, we want to remove the Town Hall, and we could use the King and the Siege Barrack, and maybe other troops as well, to set the other side of the funnel to have the Super Miners, the five Super Miners in this case, to move themselves up and remove the Ego Artillery. That makes it easy towards the back end of the base. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a Baby Dragon over here on the Army Camp. Let's use a Super Wall Breaker so we can get in, and I'm going to use the Queen with the Healers. I don't have any balloons. I should have brought that with me. That's fine. Drop in a Rage because we are definitely going to need that. I'm going to drop in a Freeze as well. That should help kind of get through this. Now, my I need my Queen to go to the right side of the base towards the Town Hall. If she doesn't, it's fine. But I would personally prefer. Let's drop in a Freeze right there. Let's drop in another Rage. This is not looking too bad. I'm going to drop... Yep, that, that, that jump's okay. Uh, we don't have any more free spells, but the queen should be able to remain up. Alright, this is looking good. I don't think we're gonna need to use any other things. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start the other side of the funnel with the siege barrack and the king. Uh, queen should be able to get through. Let's pop her ability just to make sure that she gets through. Use a baby dragon over here to kind of extend the funnel. And let's drop in another P.E.K.K.A. and more wizards to probably provide support. I think we have might too much, too much uh, funneling. Let's use our king ability. And let's use some headhunters to kind of help. But here we go. We got the super miners moving in. We only have five of them. Queen goes down, but we have the healers. Let's use a heal right here. That should allow everything to move through. We do want to make sure that we're getting through the ego artillery. So, because that is going to be a definitely a big thing to worry about. Here we go. We got the Hog Riders from the Clan Castle. This is already looking really good. Let's go ahead and use a Grand Warden ability. That should protect a lot of these troops. Let's go ahead and use another heal spell here on the back end. The only thing we need to worry about now is that Scatter. Let's go ahead and use more of these minions here to hopefully provide a little bit of funneling support while everything kind of works themselves in. We still have the RC as well. Let's use a poison here for that royal champion so she doesn't get slowed down. It looks like the healers switched onto my level 15 royal champion. Let's use our royal champion's ability. And is this going to be enough? Can they get through? The, can she? Oh, she. No, she locked. She doesn't lock onto it. Oh, uh, we need that scatter to go down. It looks like it will. And thanks to the healers, that royal champion stays up. And that is going to be a three star for us. Five super miners with just a pure queen charge does work. And so, should you boost the super miners? In my opinion, it is a yes, specifically for the blizzard super miners and the queen charge super miners. I personally think that the super hybrid is okay, but doesn't do anything better than the regular hybrid. So, I would just use the regular hybrid over that. But please, let me know what your thoughts are about the Super Miner in the comments, and hopefully I will bring more Super Miner content for Tunnel 13, 14, 15, and of course, more base reading videos in the future, so stay tuned for those.